Day two of the European Darts Grand Prix evening session, and look at Paul Nicholson. Sunglasses on, assets in place, he was ready. Could he dethrone a king? We'd find out today on High Roller Radio. We're getting underway shortly in Germany, announced the PDC. Great lineup for the fans at the Glass Palast in Sindelfing. And yes, great contest to kick us off. Daryl Gurney playing Jamie Lewis. We pick it up at three apiece on throw. After Lewis missed a dart at double, the Irishman nailed a clutch. 72 checkout. Very next leg, though, same outshot and the match turning point. The Welshman going a different route, but nailing it nonetheless. He would go on to win. In 6-4, punishing 12 missed darts at double by Gurney. Ouch, tweeted Matt, the Irish darts fan. Daryl Gurney is out. He looked off color, but hats off to Jamie Lewis, who played well. A disappointing week for our lads on the European tour. Hard luck, Daryl. Steve Lennon, of course, losing to Vincent Vandevoort yesterday in a high-quality affair. Darren Webster, Robert Marianovic hitting the stage next. Double 10 for Demolition Man, wasting no time in establishing a 5-1 lead. Marianovic fought back to 5-3, but this beautiful 1-10 checkout by Webster sealed his fate. 6-3 the final. There was a lot of pressure on me, he said. That match could have put me in the top 16 in the world. I'm chuffed for me and my sponsors. Everybody pumped for the next pairing. Paul Nicholson milking the walk-on, shades on, attitude on, directing the German fans as if they were his choir. Then how about this? Mervyn King steals the asset sunglasses, puts them on, and Nicholson salutes him. Would the darts be as good as the pregame theatrics? Markers got some scoring issues sorted out in the first leg, which King stole. Then he made the Merverts happy, kicking off the very next leg with a maximum. Then slid way across the Aki for a better view at this. Double 16, 2-0 King. The asset, though, with darts like these, playing very well of Lady, fought back to 3-all. The pair then shared breaks of throw. King on double top, Nicholson on double 18, and we were tied again. This double 2 gave Nicholson a 5-4 lead, and yes, he'd hold his nerve, breaking the very next leg for the victory, his first in some time on the Euro stage. You can see it there, pure relief. I knew I had to find something, he said. A natural me is all right. I just have to keep working hard. I don't take this for granted. Jabba loving the atmosphere. Jamie Caven taking on fan favorite Menser Sulovic, the Austrian with a lot of support wherever he goes. But check this out. 1-0 Sulovic and Caven puts in what Dan Dawson described as the best leg of darts since Ross Smith's perfect game way back in 2013. This was incredible. He had a 10 darter on double 18 with a bounce out, and that bounce out would have been a treble too. Wow. He then hit a 13 darter for 2 1. Then an 89 checkout on Bullseye put him too clear. A 14 darter put him up 4 1. Jabba averaging 107 to this point, playing brilliant. But cue the Menser comeback. This double 10 leveled the contest at four. It went to a last leg shootout. Caven would miss two darts at double eight for the 76 finish and the win, and Menser would punish him. Double 18, the gentle roars back, winning five legs on the spin, and then the decider in a 6-5 thriller. Meant a lot, too. Look at him, saluting the crowd and saying, Donka Shane. The world's number one and number two took the spotlight next, with a pair of relatively easy 6-2 victories. MVG taking down Alan Tabern, who did have a brilliant 157 checkout, but Mighty Mike with four 180s and a 103 average was just too good. Speaking of good, how about great? Peter Wright, sensational in his defeat of Kirk Shepard. Snakebite had an 11 darter, a 12 darter, and a 126 checkout. And more details from at the maximum 180. A 110.29 average, four 180s, and 60% on his doubles. That is tough to beat. Wright, who loves the fans, had a message for the crowd afterward. Your support is immense, he said, but I gotta say, do not whistle when guys are going for a double. Yes, that makes it tough, doesn't it? Big John Henderson facing James Wade next. He was in tough. The machine leading 4-2. Hendo would get it to 4-3 here. But in the 10th leg, Wadey was spot on with this double 12. 6-4 he wins. I'm enjoying darts again, he said. I have a child on the way, which is far more important than this game. It pushes you in the right direction. And the right direction is top 16 tomorrow. Five 
final tilt of the evening, Vincent Vandervoort versus Rob Cross, and Voltage with a nice reception during the walk-on. In full flight, the Dutchman is a pleasure to watch, but he struggled early today. The world champ, though, did not. And what drama in the seventh leg. Voltage kicking off with eight perfect darts, only to miss... Double 18 for perfection. There you see the headline from At Live Darts. Misses double 18 for a nine darter. So close, but yet so far. He would take that out for a 10 darter and a 5 2 lead. Vandevoort, give him credit, he fought back, broke in the ninth leg on double top to make it 5 4, and from 4 1 down, he forced a decider. But Cross is world number three for a reason. A timely 180, followed by a 61 checkout, and he wins it 6 5 to complete the top 16 lineup. What a night, in fact. It was almost perfect, and tomorrow, more of the same, final day of the European Darts Grand Prix, and the future so bright, the assets gotta wear shades, today, on High Roller Radio.